Ruth Jeffries. I'm the Methodist Minister for the Market Drayton Churches, that's Market Drayton, Hinstock and Ashley. Today's reading comes from the Old Testament from Numbers chapter 27 and is going to be read to us by Abby. Numbers 27 verses 15 to 23. Then Moses said to the Lord, O Lord, you are the God who gives breath to all creatures. Please appoint a new man as leader for the community. Give them someone who will guide them wherever they go and will lead them into battle so the community of the Lord will not be like sheep without a shepherd. The Lord replied, Take Joshua, son of Nun, who has the spirit in him, and lay your hands on him. Present him to Eleazar, the priest, before the whole community, and publicly commission him to lead the people. Transfer some of your authority to him, so the whole community of Israel will obey him. When direction from the Lord is needed, Joshua will stand before Eleazar, the priest who will use the Urim, one of the sacred lots cast before the Lord to determine his will. This is how Joshua and the rest of the community of Israel will determine everything they should do. So Moses did as the Lord commanded. He presented Joshua to Eleazar, the priest, and the whole community. Moses laid his hands on him and commissioned him to lead the people, just as the Lord had commanded through Moses. This story involves one of my favourite Old Testament characters of Joshua, um, somebody who is raised up to take on the leadership of the nation of Israel. Um, this story is all about mentorship. Uh, we can read more about Joshua's story if you keep on reading ahead into, uh, head into Joshua. But this particular bit of reading tells us about the commissioning. Um, how God appointed Joshua through Moses and the priests and in front of the whole community and said, this is the person that is going to succeed you, Moses. Succession policy is something that isn't new to us at all. Uh, we're pretty rubbish at it for the most part. We usually, somebody finishes a job and then somebody st new starts the job. Uh, but actually, this is a really good model of us walking alongside people. You see, it was really important that the community saw that Moses had delegated some authority to, to Joshua. It was really important that they saw that, that they recognised that this person that they trusted, that they'd been led by for a long time, had said, now this is your next leader. This is the person I'm going to give some, uh, some authority to and is going to lead you as we go. Um, this is a model not just from the Old Testament but also from the New. This is a model that Jesus used with his disciples. He walked alongside them. Um, at Ascension, when, he, uh, when he, he left them, he left them with the Great Commission and said, I'm handing you authority. At Pentecost, the disciples receive authority in the form of the Holy Spirit. We are given the authority just as Moses handed it to uh, Joshua but it's not just a handing on it's a walking alongside and gradually handing over I wonder if somebody has ever done that for you I wonder if there's somebody who has walked alongside you leading and guiding you maybe in your Christian faith maybe in your work maybe just in life and who has walked alongside you before handing over all of that authority and doing it as we, they go along. I wonder if there's somebody that you might be called to do that for today. 
And so this is my prayer for you today. Uh, and I encourage you to pray the same thing, that God might reveal by his Holy Spirit the person or persons who you might get alongside today. Uh, and let's face it, in this time of challenge and difficulty, in this time where people are really exploring faith for the first time, there are going to be plenty of people out there who are going to need you to walk alongside them, to in help to, to learn more about Jesus. And you could just be the right person to do that. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, done. on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I will set my face to seek the Lord. I will set my face to seek the Lord. Give my full attention to my God. I will listen for his voice. I will listen for his voice. I will set Thank you. 